Coach, you heard Julius Randle say, yeah, we wanted to focus on defense. Clearly, the Cavaliers did not do that. Well, Cleveland's been struggling with their defense. Regardless of which team they put out there, they've been struggling since the start of the season before they made the trade. And now after the trade, the defense picked up a little bit because of the athleticism. But when you look at them, they just are not a good defensive team. Here, look at Julius Randle right here. And you got four or five Cleveland Cavaliers with a foot in the paint right now in good position. Everybody's in the help position. But watch and see what happened right now with this Cavaliers team defensively. Yeah, in the right spot, but look. No one's guarding the cutter. Someone's got to be on the weak side and bump the cutter. Don't give Lonzo Ball an easy lap. But here, again, you got five guys in this dance in good defensive position. But guess what? Here's Julius Randle gets to the ball, just a simple spin move. And not only get a layup, but a dunk against a set defense. And here again, you got three Cavaliers corralling. <laughs> Look at this. Isaiah Thomas, and they forget about Brooke Lopez because he has improved his game, can step out and knock down a three, wide open shot. And when you look at this Cavaliers team right there, look, they're all in a the stance, they're all elbows and boxes, but the head is not on the swivel. The ball's on one side, the weak side is not completely over, and they're giving up layups and wide open shots, and then giving up stuff in transition. So when your transition defense is bad, when your half court defense is bad, what is you gonna have? Bad defense, which equates to another loss. That was a hell of a breakdown, too. And, and you know, <laughs> it, it really was because it's the tell of the tape, and if you watch them, they're not engaged. You know, from a defensive standpoint and then from an offensive standpoint, they're relying on LeBron to do so much. And, you know, you need other guys to step up in a major way. Jordan Clarkson, we talked about that. He being the second-best player from a playmaker, facilitator type of guy, he needs to be consistent in that role until Kevin Love come back. Julius Randle has really blossomed this season. I mean, he seems like, first of all, his body's different. Second of all, when teams don't play hard enough and play hard enough defense on him, he takes advantage of it. Yeah, I, I, the biggest thing I, I see with Julius Randle is his maturity. You know, a guy that used to rush everything and have the same gear all the time, He's still a bruiser offensively and defensively, but he's engaged defensively. He's coming with a disposition night in and night out with a uh, approach that's needed. He's showing, he's showing so much leadership. And with all the trade talk and discussions, he kept a professional edge about himself night in and night out and came with that same approach. Let me tell you why I like Julius Randle. He's been the subject of trade talk. His game has been dissected. It's been criticized. He's to this. He's not good enough here. He can't shoot outside. But you watch him play. He's physical. And you, to your point, he's brought that physicality now on the defensive end and on the rebound and offensively. He beats you up with the basketball and forces the issue. But when you look at Julius Randle, for a young player, look at what he's been through in his short career criticized, talked about, always talked about being Injuries. traded. And he's getting stronger mentally. And I'm telling you, if the Lakers don't hold on him, look, 36 points on 14 to 18 shooting, you know how efficient that is in the NBA game? So when you're the Lakers, you better take a step back and start saying, wait a minute, if I can keep this young man at the right price and not have to overpay him, he can start for you, he can come off the bench, he can play that small center for you, power forward. Julius Randle is turning into a Quite a, good, quite a good player, and if the Lakers don't hold on to him, somebody's going to get a very good player in Julius Randle.